God's word is like an arrow. And when he speaks, there is power in his word. You know, in the word of God, it says in Zechariah uh, 9, uh, verse 14, that his arrows are like, like lightning. And they go forth and they, and they hit the target every time. And they hit the mark. They bring down our enemies. His word is powerful. His word is sharper than a two-edged sword. You know, and it says in Isaiah 55 uh, that his word will not return unto him void. And today I want us to uh, think on and focus on how powerful his word is because it is like an arrow uh, to your enemies. It's like an arrow to uh, shoot down disease and, and, and depression and anxiety and panic and and any type of financial issue, any type of relational issue, his word is an arrow and it will destroy the enemy. You know, in Matthew 8.8, 8, uh, the centurion came to Jesus and he said, um, my servant is, is dying, you know, and, and Jesus said, well, I'll come over there and, and I will I will pray for him. Uh, of course, this is my paraphrase of that scripture. But in, in Matthew 8, 8, the centurion says to Jesus, No, you don't. I'm not worthy for you to come to my house, but just speak the word only. Just send your arrow there. Uh, just speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. And that's exactly what Jesus did. He spoke out of his mouth. And the servant was healed at that very same hour. You know, in the book of James, it talks about our tongue. It talks about what we say. You know, and in Mark 11, uh, verses 22 through 26, he and especially 22, he talks about uh, have the faith of God. And then it also says, or have faith in God. And then in verse 23 it says, If you say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, then you believe in your heart, and doubt not, then you shall have whatsoever you say it. When you send forth a verse uh, of God's word, when you send forth his word, it is like an arrow to your enemies. And it will destroy and bring down those strongholds in your life. You know, and I, I just thank the Lord that as we, as we have the tongue of the learned, that our tongue is those arrows. And we can speak out uh, God's word, and, and those arrows will go and hit that target and, and bring down uh, all the things that are not supposed to be uh, in our life, that are not godly, uh, that are from the enemy. We can bring those down. You know, today I just want to, to pray for you uh, that you will send forth God's arrows, that they will be like lightning to your enemies, that they will bring down the strongholds. You know, I had a, a minister say once, I heard him say, that we're only one scripture away from victory. Only one arrow. It only takes one arrow to pierce the heart of the enemy and bring that enemy uh, down. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And that's the word of God right there. No weapon formed against uh, you and your family, uh, your marriage, your finances, your ministry shall prosper. Uh, you know, as we, as we uh, just think about the Lord today, I think about his arrows. And I think about how powerful he is and how powerful his word is when it comes out of our mouth. And so today, I want you to, to just believe God and ask Him for the scriptures that you need, the arrows that you need to put into your quiver, to put into your mouth, and that those arrows will hit the mark. As you speak them out, believe in your heart, and you shall have whatsoever you say it. And so as I send forth this arrow today, I, I'm believing that it is going to, uh, to pierce the heart of the enemy 
and and the enemy uh, in my life and in my family, uh, any weapon that he's tried to form against uh, me or my family or you or your family uh, will be totally destroyed uh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And so let's send forth those arrows today. Let's send forth those arrows and destroy uh, any enemy that tries to come uh, at us.